Welcome. So what I want to do is show you how to take the original price of a jacket when it is $169.95 and then what I like to do is find the discount of that price at 35% uh, 35 off. So what we're going to do is I'm going to sell this a couple different ways. I'm going to show, kind of show you the longer way and then I'll also show you a really quick way to kind of evaluate the price. So the first thing to kind of describe why we're going to be doing everything and how we're going to do even the short method, I want to look at this by using proportions. Now remember proportions are ratios that are going to be set equal to each other. So the first ratio that I'm going to want to create is what is the original price of the jacket and the new price of the jacket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a ratio and I'm going to say, all right, our original price of our jacket is $109.95. Now what we want to find is we want to find the discounted price. So we know what the discount percent is, but we don't know what the discount price. So the discount per, um, per price is we're going to leave as our variable, where X is going to represent the value of our discounted jacket. Now that's going to be equal to our discount that we're going to have. Now it says it's 35% off, but we're not looking for a jacket that is 35% of this price. We're looking for 35% from this jacket or 35% um, of this jacket subtracted from our um, total price. So what I want to do is I want to say, all right, so if I'm going to discount it 35%, then what is my new discounted price going to, going to uh, represent? Well, if you take 35, we know that percents are out of 100, correct? Right, because you can't have more than 100%. All your percents add up to 100. Well, if I'm discounting 35%, that means my new price of my jacket is going to be 65%. So the ratio or the proportion that I'm creating is my whole price over my new price compared to my whole, um, whole percentage over the percentage of the new jacket. So now what I can do is to solve this, I can just kind of do the um, simply solve proportions. I can cross multiply. And therefore what I'll have is 65x, which is equal to, and I'm just going to use my nice little handy calculator I have here. Uh, so I'll do 169.95. I'm sorry, that's not a 65x, it's 100x. 95 times 65. And I get is 11,046 and 75 cents. So now what I'm going to do to solve for X is I'm going to divide by 100. And when dividing by 100, that means I'm just going to move my decimal point over two spots. So therefore, X equals $110. And then we can round to 47 cents. So therefore, if you look at that, so now at a discounted price, my new jacket is going to be um, $110.47. Now, here's another way we can look at this. If I was going to do $169.95, and I say there's a discount of 35, um, 35%, what you could do is to find the amount discounted is take $169.95, and then what I could do is convert this to a decimal, which would be 0.35. So if I multiply that by 0.35, what I'm going to get is $59.48. Now that's not the price of the jacket at a 35% discount. That's the amount that we're going to discount. So what I could do is I could take $59.48 and subtract it from $169.95 and I would get $110.47. The other way, which is a little bit more quicker to do, is if this is going to give you the amount discounted, well, let's just find what that unit price would be. So what I can do is I can take the total value, 0.95, and then multiply it by the percentage that we're going to have, which would be 65%. Oops, 0.65. Make sure you convert it to your decimal. And then again, what you get is $110.46. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's a quick way how to find unit price with us, or with percentages. Thanks.